Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper at RadioPreppers.com. I needed a, uh, a new paddles uh, for my Weber MTR to make up a very small go box. And I wasn't quite sure what to get. I was looking at the uh, Palm Pico paddles, but they are more than $100. I might still buy them someday, but uh, I need something a little bit cheaper. So here is the QRP guys iambic paddles. It's a kit and uh, I think it was about $25 or $20 something like that. So very affordable and uh, it is made of uh, little pieces of uh, circuit board. So this one is the model, the model with the base which is also a piece of circuit board and we have different little pieces and a bunch of screws supposedly it isn't uh, so easy to put together but uh, I guess we'll see it seems the uh, difficulty is in aligning everything correctly on the board here I have what uh, what they call the gauge which is used to align the backstop here and I'm going to solder this first I'm going to put uh, two little solder points here for just tacking basically that's the kind of stuff you really wish you had uh, just about three hands to do And now I'm going to place the uh, backstop against uh, the gauge. Try to hold it with my fingers and solder the parts without moving. And of course, it isn't straight. So I have to uh, do it again. It's not easy. That's where the difficulty is. So those two pieces should make a right angle. And uh, it looks uh, much better now, but I think it's still a little bit uh, leaning. looks pretty straight but uh, with the camera of course you uh, don't have the same angle now all the pads are soldered on both sides so uh, we can whoops <laughs> we can move on to the next step now I join the two leaf holders with the one inch spacer and the one inch screw and I'm going to place that on the base and it goes like this you have to match the uh, registration marks C and C with B and B it's pretty easy all the parts are now soldered so we can uh, move on don't forget to solder the uh, inside pads after removing the alignment gauge and the spacer. I'm placing the base like this uh, so that the solder doesn't run on one side here we go second one 
The next step is to place the uh, brass nut here on the board with a stainless screw and washer below and we're going to solder the sides here you have to be careful that the, the sides are uh, parallel to uh, the uh, leaf holders here so I placed it correctly and I'm going to solder the sides you have to uh, make sure that your soldering iron is hot enough for the uh, solder to uh, to melt on the brass and to stick on the brass so I have it now at 450 Celsius and it seems to be uh, flowing all right and I tried to remove the screw and uh, it took everything out including the <laughs> The nut so uh, now I have to uh, replace it and resolder again so uh, it, it just didn't stick maybe a little bit of a uh, you know sandpaper um, on the uh, nut would have helped this time it worked but I have a slight misalignment so uh, hopefully that's not going to be too much of a problem the manual asks you to uh, solder the jack and the um, jumper connectors first, but I mean second. But I would suggest that you do it first because it's really a pain to hold them down with that uh, backboard um, here. So it would be much easier to do it uh, right away so that uh, you can put this on the table and solder on the other side. But you can do it with this here so uh, something maybe to correct in the manual this turned out to be a real pain so uh, queue up you guys change your manual this has to go on first now i have the uh, 440 screw one focus of course 440 screw uh, the uh, lock washer then the wider number four flat washer and then a nylon spacer there's only one of that size so it should just uh, go in very easily if it doesn't don't force it you have the wrong uh, spacer and that's how it looks on the board putting the uh, lock washers on the screws here pretty hard and uh, of course I don't have any tweezers but that would have helped uh, as uh, mentioned in the manual so I don't know that's <laughs> I'm going to drop them of course oh yep so this is going to take me some time and I got one I used my pinky finger put a little bit of saliva there to uh, stick the uh, lock washer and just put it on and it worked My best advice to you, get tweezers, because this is just <laughs> not working. Uh, it's not easy. And make sure you do the bottom screws first, because there's no way you're going to do the, the top ones. Ooh, I just put one on here, and it's... Okay, first one, three to go. I was finally able to put the four screws in with the spacers and the nuts. Uh, it was pretty hard. It took me quite some time without tweezers. The second bottom screw was just such a pain. Um, the top screws were easy, but uh, I finally got it together. So I understand now the uh, why they rate the difficulty uh, as being uh, pretty high. So if you don't have much patience, uh, you know, you're not good with the uh, tiny parts, uh, mm, I don't know. Uh, it wasn't that hard for, to, for me, but, uh, you know, I have a lot of patience and uh, it didn't bother me too much, but uh, there it is. I just have to cut the uh, finger pads now and uh, slide them on like so. And there is a little bit of uh, material here to uh, to put on to uh, have them a little bit thicker so that it sticks. 
and that's it I might have to uh, take a little file to the washer here to uh, have enough spacing or maybe bend those little arms but uh, it feels a little mushy but uh, it should work fine and here's the final result I slipped on the uh, rubbery material on the arms it would be easier to do this before actually uh, mounting the arms with the screws um, so something to change in the manual as well uh, it would have been easier to to do that before uh, because you can accidentally bend those arms trying to slip on the uh, material here so uh, I would definitely suggest you do that uh, prior to mounting the arms and now we just have to uh, plug them in and uh, try them by the way uh, QRP guys do include a jack and that's very nice of them because not everyone does that. I have bought keys that didn't have a jack and I had to go uh, buy a jack, uh, you know, 15 kilometers away. So uh, very nice to include uh, a jack. 